Hi, Brant Lou, CHI St. Mary's. I'm a physical therapist here at the hospital. I'm going to talk to you today about the importance of proper squatting mechanics, you know, to bend down, pick up kids, grandkids, lift something off the ground, um, any type of object. We really want to make sure that you're lifting from the, the right joints with the right mechanics. A lot of us kind of hold true with the idea that I need to lift with my legs. But there's more to it than just simply lifting with my legs. I really need to be making sure I'm using my hips, my glute muscles, and not just my knee. As one of the most common things we see is people tend to overuse their knees and inefficiently use their hips. So the typical squat that we see, if I back up here, is people tend to shift their weight forward and their knees initiate, start the motion. The knees bend, they get onto the balls of their feet, and they squat down in this position, heels off the ground, and they lift, straightening pretty much with their knees. When in reality, what we want to see is those hips do more of the work. So if I come back to the same position, you should see me hip hinge, where my hips go backwards, my feet stay flat, and I drop down in that position to grab what I need to, and I drive up through my heels, driving through, lifting with my hips, and not my knees. Um, this is very, very important as my glute muscles are so much stronger than my quad muscles that it, lifting with my knees puts too much strain and stress through there, developing different types of patellar tendonitis, patellofemoral pain, um, knee osteoarthritis, anytime I'm loading those knees excessively. So the more we can do to be proactive, the better off those knees are going to feel long term. Now, if you're going to try this at home and just think about sticking your rear end back, keeping your heels down, you might not be able to get into that position. And that might be because your ankles don't move well enough. Your glutes don't function efficiently enough or they're not strong enough, or you just overuse your quads and that's pushing you over backwards. If any of those things are occurring, that's the time that it's, it's good to get in like, prophylactically early and see physical therapy because we can address these needs, get you moving better, get you stronger to allow you to squat before that knee starts to become painful. If you already have knee pain when you squat, this is a great thing to try. And if you can't do it, talk to your primary care physician about coming in for physical therapy to work on those squatting mechanics and to teach you how to unload your knees and load your glutes. So just one time more to reiterate, from this position, you want to feel that your hips initiate the motion, they go back, my weight's through my heels, and I'm dropping down, lifting whatever I need to, and driving up through my heels. At no point should I feel like the weight is successively on the ball, the front of my foot. It should always be backwards with my hips starting and leading the motion. Um, feel free, as always, if you have any questions, contact Brant Luce, CHI St. Mary's, 402-873-8918.